final we are. I'm 14 years old. I've not been to school before. My father and my mother are not getting him to put me in school. Send my final card that we stand for. Join that follow you. Because my mother is not checking me. I'm going to go to my grandma. So much pain. I'm going to go to my grandma. So much pain. We are here today in West Point because we believe that young men in West Point definitely have a potential to go on to lead better lifestyle to make um, young men see education as a viable option for the future. So we are hoping that the young men that we select here today will go on to complete the program and to choose to go to school because we definitely believe that education is the key to the future. I grew up and went to high school in Liberia. And every day as I went about, I saw many, many young people who should have been in school getting an education for the future, but instead were out in the streets selling. And that bothered me a lot. And I asked myself, well, how can I do something to at least reverse this situation in some communities? And that was why I started the Umbenian Project, which provides educational and recreational opportunities to young men between the ages of 12 to 18 who had never been to school before or had dropped out of school to address some of the socio-economic reasons why they were not in school. We started the program in uh, the summer of 2010 where I worked with several very committed and talented young Liberian college students to start off a summer camp that basically aimed to help these young men identify what they wanted to become in the future uh, and also why education was important for them in achieving their goals. And so we had several components of the project, which included a speaker series with young professionals, uh, an outdoor excursions program, a life skills program, an academic skills program, as well as several um, sports programs. But one component of the project that was a favorite among the young people was the outdoor excursions program. I feel very happy because since I was born, I did not know I was swimming pool, but today is my first time swimming in it. So I want to be very happy. And Somebody thank you to them. I tell them thank you. I also tell God thank you because God come first. Several weeks into the program, and some parents told us that they had noticed some remarkable changes in their children's lives. I tell the people thank you because my son is not too much against it, but I tell them thank you. You go to all of people play and throw them there away on the top Oh, they be asking Gali to throw there away for $20. Stealing posture on the land. But the, the particular school here, again, at least, you can take back now, come to pay soon, do some good cool things there for me. At least they complete their car again. So I tell the people, thank you. And what I found truly, truly humbling about these young men is that despite the everyday conditions and situations they find themselves in, they never ever give up on dreaming. And not just dreaming, but dreaming big dreams at that. But I always dream. My dream is I want to become a civil engineer. My dream is to become a football coach. Cool. I'm a fisher. I want to become a football. Now my dream is I want to become a president. For me, the defining moment was looking at those young men pose so proudly with their certificates in their hands at the close of the camp. I was just so proud of them knowing that they were all beginning new chapters in their lives. To be honest, I am immeasurably humbled to share the lives of these young men who continue to dream despite their many challenges, who continue to keep hope alive in a nation where it's so easy to give up, who give me hope for a better Liberia. I'm doing this now.
I'm getting to the to my dream. In my dream is I want to be going to sleep or eating. Thank you for the whole project. We've been here was talking about things. Oh God, we tell you thank you. We are saying that to our house, it is for God. All the teachers are coming on the ring. The car and look for who been here, partner. Oh Lord, we tell you thank you. May you bless God, mama, and gain good knowledge. Who been here, who been here? Oh, oh.